Four years ago, I was still studying in Mapua and I'm at my senior years in college. I was having my internship at a well-known telco company here in the Philippines and while I was doing my computer task, I also observed the employees around there. I was visualizing myself na if I pursue this path, I would also work the way how their employees work there. And totoo lang, there's nothing wrong with how they work. The only problem there is me. Have you ever felt the feeling when something feels right? The feeling when you met someone and you instantly fall in love? The feeling when you hold something and you felt the tick? The feeling when you're writing, dancing, taking pictures, editing a video, playing a musical instrument, going to places you've never seen before, and you felt that you're in the right place at the right time and doing what feels right? Siguro I'm over romanticizing this, but engineering path doesn't feel right for me anymore at that time. Pero I still have two years to finish uh, my engineering degree, so tinapos ko na din lang naman because I'm halfway there. Pero sobrang hirap talaga mag-graduate sa Mapua. And I guess what really pushes me na pakatapos is yung desire ko na makalaya na because I felt trapped na hindi ko nagagawa yung gusto kong gawin. So sa lahat ng breaks, sabi ko kanina, introduction lang yun to what I really want to talk about in this video. So yung thesis ng video na to is going full time or going all in into your passion so uh pat ko naisip yon i was inspired by a post sa investagram so if you're not aware investagram is a platform for uh filipino stock traders so may post don si mr ken arcano that was reposted by mr javi medina and yung gusto ko dun sa post na yon is uh it's applicable to all career na gusto mo maging passionate about whether it's about being a chef a photographer, a filmmaker, an entrepreneur. Yung mga pinagsabi niya would make sense if you're uh, in a corporate job and you want to drop that corporate job and pursue what you're really passionate about. Basta, let's dive into it and it will all make sense. If yung skin tone ko throughout this video changes, uh, it's because I'm just using window light and nagbabago-bago yung liwanag outside. Minsan, it's cloudy, it's sunny, it's rainy. So, forgive it. For the people who's interested to take the leap of faith, and drop their corporate job to like do the path less taken and pursue what they're passionate about. So let's do a breakdown of some tips na binigay ni Mr. Javi Medina. Number one on his tip is aim for consistency. So what does it mean to aim for consistency? So let's just put it in this way. For example, you want uh, you want to transition into a sales career from a corporate job. Let's just say an insurance advisor. What does it mean to be consistent? Is uh, you're able to close like three lives per month so you're able to close three sales a month then for a uh, photographer you're, you'll be able to like book gigs consistently na parang it will replace yung income mo as, as a corporate worker uh, for a youtuber you want to be a youtuber uh, you want to consistently upload at least once or twice two videos a week and uh, aiming for consistency is building a habit of consistency. So this is what it means for me. Track record. So for me, this is just a validation na naging consistent ka dun sa aim mo for at least 2 to 3 years. So this is just a validity na naging consistent ka to what you want to be on a span of 2 to 3 years. So ano naman to? Ito yung amount na kailangan natin punin kasi usually things don't pan out the way we expect them to be. So, for example, uh, my expectation is that within six months, uh, my career will took off. Usually, kasi it takes at least twice or thrice dun sa expectations natin before things really pan out. How I think about this is para tayong airplane, and before ang airplane mag took off, kila natin ng runway, and yung 18 month living expenses na yun is your runway money before ka mag took off. So, ayun, uh, having that money increases yung chances mo. Uh, to survive by just doing your passion bago ka mag off. Emergency fund. So, iba pa doon sa 18th month budget mo. Uh, so, this is one is parang backup pa doon. Emergency fund consists of at least 3 to 6 months ng monthly salary mo to a year if you want to be just really sure. Frugal living. So, I like yung sinabi nila about frugal living. So, sabi nila dito, maglakad ka, mag-MRT ka, bus ka, Avoid shopping, magsawa ka sa Pao Chin at Chao Fan. Tatawa lang kanila, pero ikaw ang tatawa sa huli. There's no room for prestige if you really wanna make it. This speaks for any career, especially if you're just starting out. Wala kang karapatang magreklamo. Pinili mo yan. Uh, pinili mo yung passion mo. Pinili mo yung perso yun. 
So I guess, ito lang talaga yung sacrifice that it takes uh, for you to like make it sa simula. So recently nga, uh, this is my personal story. Uh, meron akong friends na in-invite ako lumabas but I have to decline kasi hindi ko na afford or I just need really to preserve yung money ko sa simula kasi just not making it yet. Uh, so, isa pa is I'm starting to think na tanggalin na yung Netflix subscription ko. And recently then I downgraded yung Globe plan ko and just the sim. I don't I didn't get any phone, new phone. So, ayun, I guess this is just what it takes for me to like make it to the next step. This is something na nahihirapan ako because I don't have any friends to share this with. Kasi wala akong friend na kilala ko na who's trying to make a living out of making content. Being in a creative community is something I'm aspiring to be part of. So, it's something that I'm currently working on. One of the best advantage of being part of a community is meron kang masasharean mo ng struggles mo and they can understand you better kasi parehas kayo ng pinagdadaanan. And generally, mas masaya mag-create ng content kung may kasama ka to do content with. As of the moment, it's hard for me to like ask for someone for consultation. Kasi nga naman, sino naman ako, di ba? But I think if I put on the necessary work, I could attract someone na I could ask for consultation with. And siguro the fastest way sa ngayon to like uh, get help is by giving first. And para sa akin, uh, the way na I could give first is I if I put on the necessary work. So, I guess it's just about uh, time para for me to like have someone na I could consult with. Every time na nag-reflect ako on why I wanted to be a successful insurance advisor or content creator, the personal answer na lagi like kong nasasagot sa sarili ko is yung freedom. So, on a personal level, yun siguro yung sagot ko. O yung purpose ko why I do this is to be to be free, yung freedom to do what I really want. And on a bigger perspective, uh, what I wanted to achieve in my insurance advisory work is to uh, help people, influence people on how to properly manage yung money nila, not just to sell insurance. Uh, and para din naman sa content creation career ko, what I really wanted is just to share yung story ko. Siguro, para lang iba naman yung marinig ng mga tao because most people are negative and siguro I think I don't know. I think my, my stories uh, are more positive, so siguro yun lang. Yun lang naman yung gusto kong uh, ma-achieve with, with, with my content creation career. In all honesty, I'm still figuring out kung paano ko masusustain yung lifestyle ko, yung expenses ko, with just uh, yung passion ko that sustains it. Uh, totoo lang, there's still months or kinakabahan pa din ako kung saan kukunin yung sweldo ko for the upcoming month. I guess part yun with pursuing your passion kasi uh, sa business naman, I think when you're just starting out, most of the time, hindi naman talaga kagaya ng corporate 9 to 5 na every 15th, 30th, uh, meron kang stable na sweldo. So, I guess it's something na I'm, I'm still figuring it out. If you are someone who's trying to figure it out how to live yung corporate life mo and make it out with just your passion, uh, feel free to subscribe kasi we're on the same journey. Uh, your like would be much appreciated and I guess that's it. See you in the next video. Peace. Bye.